हेलो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू एक्सोटिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड रिसेंटली आई हैड अपलोडेड अ वीडियो ऑन अष्टक वर्ग एंड ऑल दो आई हैव ऑलमोस्ट नाइन हंड्रेड वीडियोज इन माई चैनल बट द काइंड ऑफ मेल्स एंड कमेंट्स एंड अप्रिसिएशन दैट आई रिसीव फॉर दैट वीडियो इज अनलाइक एनी अदर वीडियो एंड मैनी पीपल हैड रिक्वेस्टेड मी टू मेक अनादर वीडियो एंड some people also told me that they have never ever heard of ashtak varga the way i spoke in that video and they have asked me to make another video and many people asked me to make a video on marriage how to time marriage what kind of people you could end up meeting when can the marriage happen what could be the circumstances will it be a love marriage or a so called arranged marriage or how how will the partner be how will the person be All right, so these are some of the queries which we will try to see from Ashtak Varga, and without looking at the chart. Well, of course, we will look at the chart, and then we will look at Ashtak Varga. Okay, but today this is a chart without any planets, just like the previous video. So once again, I would like to thank all of you for all of your uh, beautiful comments and your appreciations. so let us kick in this video of ashtak varga and yes as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then you can go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him okay so this is the chart of a sagittarius rising and today we will discuss about this is the man's chart so we will discuss about his event of wedding and his married life to some extent and circumstances of his marriage and which dashas gave him marriage how and why okay so just by using ashtak varga we can make these predictions okay so now whenever we talk of marriage we need to understand there are three houses involved okay the first house of marriage is the seventh house of course then the second house is the other house which is involved in marriage and then we have the 11th house because 7th house deals with the contract that we sign legally uh, when the government is involved and second house is also indicating marriage because whenever we get married to somebody it's like uh, the that person becomes a part of our family and 11th house deals with fulfillment of desire okay so second seventh and 11th 2 7 and 11 these three are houses of marriage and at times the fifth and the ninth can also signify marriage because they are trikonas and fifth deals with progeny and ninth deals with carrying on your tradition but at a physical level physical realm at a gross manifestable way it is the second seventh and eleventh all right okay so now let us see what is going on in his chart so now traditionally what you will think is oh this chart is very good for married life okay this person has uh, 34 points in the seventh house so many times people have a misconception that anything which is above 28 is good it's great fantastic 28 is like so so and anything below 28 is terrible okay so now you may think that oh look his second house has 29 this has 34 and he has 28 points in the 11 so all the three have above 28 so that is why his married life is great well it is not the case but before going to married life let us see the ashtak varga in detail and then we will go to his married life so this person got married quite some time back uh, he got married in saturn mahadasha venus antardasha okay which is pretty obvious because saturn is the lord of the second house and venus is the lord of the 11th and it's also the lord of the 6th but the mool trikon sign libra is in the 11th house so venus is more strongly indicating marriage here rather than celibacy okay so now let us see what's going on in his 7th house okay let's go step wise check the 7th house first 
Seventh house has 34 points and the sign Gemini. But it's important to see who is contributing these points. Okay. So now you go to this three. Okay. When I say seven, don't jump here. This is Libra. This is not house number. This is sign number. Okay. So when I say Gemini, go to this number three. So sun is contributing four. Moon is contributing quite a lot of points. Then Mars is contributing 5, Mercury 3, Jupiter is contributing, wow, 7 points. Venus 5, Saturn 4 and it sums up to 34. So this means who is the most important factor when it comes to marriage in this person's chart. It is Jupiter because he has the maximum contribution. Okay. And who is Jupiter here? Jupiter is the Lagna Lord. And he's also the fourth lord. So that means this person will only want to marry a girl who either he likes or he decides or maybe his mother likes or his mother decides. Or maybe his mother introduces him to this girl. Okay. So that is, that is his uh, disposition towards marriage. And because it is Jupiter, the tendency will be to more uh, to follow the uh, tradition more okay so now let's go to the second house because as we discussed that is also the house of marriage so now second house 29 points as the sign capricorn so let's go to number 10 here so five points three points four seven four four two so now you see who is the most important planet here mercury so when it comes to finding a girl, it is fine. But finally, when you want to convert that into marriage, the opinion of relatives is very important here, you see, because Mercury has seven points. So it could happen that this person or his mother wants to marry somebody. Uh, but if the relatives are not agreeing, then this person due to some reason may not be able to get married to that person. Okay. So just by seeing the 7th house, you cannot declare, oh, he will decide or his mother will decide. You can't do like that. You also have to check the 2nd house. So now we know the contenders. And who is Mercury here? Mercury is the 7th Lord itself and the 10th Lord. That means his family members will tell him that, oh, first you should have a career, stabilized career. Only then you should think of marriage. His relatives will tell him that. And the spouse herself could tell that I will not marry you because you are not having a stable career. Okay. Because Mercury is also the seventh lord here. Don't forget that. Now let's go to the 11th house. 11th house has the sign Libra number seven. So go here. So 11th house, who is contributing maximum? It is moon, then Jupiter is contributing, then Venus is contributing. So there is no deciding factor. There is no planet which is contributing maximum. Of course, three planets are contributing equally. Okay, moon, Jupiter and Venus. So Jupiter is important, which means he himself, his mother and Venus is the 11th Lord, maybe his elder sibling. And uh, Venus is also the sixth lord, okay. And who is moon here? Moon is the in-laws, you see. Moon is the eighth lord, okay. So he may want to marry somebody who is from a good family because the family of the spouse is the second from the seventh house, which is the eighth house, okay. So maybe he might say that, oh, this girl is good. Uh, I like her, but... Maybe her family is not good, so I will not marry her. Okay. These kind of things he might say. Now, many times people ask that, uh, will it be a love marriage or an arranged marriage? So for that, we need to check the fifth house. Which kinds of planets are impacting the fifth house? Okay. So now let's go to the fifth house. The sign Aries is here. Aries is number one. This and now you look clearly mercury venus they are dominating this like anything venus is saying seven mercury is telling six so what is venus 
venus is the karaka for love and romance okay venus is basically infatuation when you get infatuated with somebody when you think that that person is the best person irrespective of what they do or how they are okay which fades off uh, after some time of course but uh, venus is very strongly dominating his fifth house and mercury is also dominating that means communication is very important to fall in love and venus also represents beauty or uh, physical sense of appeal so for this person if he has to fall in love then uh, the partner should look good and he should be able to communicate properly with her mercury is very important sun uh, not that important moon not that important mars not that important jupiter still decent which means he will prefer if she is from his uh, similar cultural background but that's not his topmost priority okay so venus is the lord of the 11th house so that means he would prefer if she is first a friend or anybody or maybe some friend could refer this girl to him okay then he would prefer such kind of a girl or venus is also the sixth lord maybe somebody from his workplace okay so now what what happened at the end so this person ended up marrying one of his colleagues okay because venus as i said is the sixth lord here so sixth lord can show your daily job and all such things okay apart from that venus is also the 11th lord so 11th lord can also show money and connections and uh, your financial your financial experiences okay we uh, and job is also a part of that so therefore this person uh, had fallen in love with this girl when they met in their office and because venus is contributing seven points yes uh, indeed uh, of course i have not seen the girl but uh, i mean his wife but that that is what he told me that uh, he she is very good looking and apart from that mercury has six points you see so mercury is the seventh lord and the tenth lord okay so again the seventh lord is having a say on love so which means he will he will prefer converting this love into marriage okay that will be his topmost priority so now let us check how much is the fifth lord affecting the seventh house okay so that will tell you how much the person wants to fall in love before getting married so who is the fifth lord here fifth lord is mars and seventh house is gemini okay so how much is mars contributing to gemini mars is contributing five points you see he is the third contender the topmost contender is jupiter then moon so jupiter is telling he will himself decide or maybe his mother jupiter is the fourth lord and uh, then the next contender is moon okay moon is the in-laws which means the in-laws could come and help him in getting married the in-laws could come to their place and say that oh we want that uh, your son should get married to our daughter okay they may be a good match something of that sort but mars is the third contender okay so when this person now i ask this person so whenever you used to think of getting married do you always used to feel that no first we should fall in love and you know maybe later on we should marry anything of that sort he said oh, well that was there in the back of my mind but that was not my primary condition now see mars as the fifth lord is having five points so it has quite a say okay but that's not number one that's not primary if mars had eight points or seven points then that would be the most important factor then this person would feel that unless i fall in love with somebody or i know that person well i cannot get married to that person it's not possible so then uh, he will keep rejecting girls okay or other proposal which he does not like that is how marriage can be delayed okay all right so now if you check carefully in the 7th house which has the sign gemini you will see mars contributes 5 points now mars is also the 12th lord you see 
so some challenges are also there and venus also contributes five points who is the sixth lord and how much is moon contributing moon is also the eighth lord now eighth laws lord can show in laws but can also show challenges at time so now you see the sixth lord eighth lord and twelfth lord they are contributing six six points for moon then for mars five points so 11 points and then venus 5 so 16 points you see so almost half is being contributed by the lord of the dusthanas so this could be a bit challenging for his marriage but now also now let us see the other side if uh, the other houses that support marriage how much are they indicating how much are they supporting marriage so the houses which will support marriage are 2nd and 11th and 5th and 9th as we discussed before. So now you see the 2nd Lord is Saturn. Saturn is 4 points. Okay then Mars again is the 12th Lord. So that becomes a bit critical. Should we take Mars or should we not? Well let us take Mars. <laughs> he is lording the 5th and a Dustana also. Okay but his Mool Trikon sign is in the 5th house. So he he should be primarily supporting marriage so 4 plus 5 that is 9 then how much is Surya the ninth Lord supporting Surya is saying I'll give 4 points okay so 9 plus 4 is almost 13 around okay and then Venus itself is the 11th Lord how much is Venus supporting 5 so 11 plus uh, sorry 13 plus 5 is how much 18 that is the calculation so <clears throat> the lord of the second lords of the second fifth ninth and the eleventh are contributing more points than the lord of the sixth eighth and twelfth okay because as far as i remember if my calculation was correct uh, that was 16 almost and this is more than that okay so that is why in spite of uh, so many challenges and uh, troubles and difficulties he is able to continue his married life okay and i asked him would you say that you are happily married he said well uh, i may not say that i am happily married but yeah i could say that i am still blessed <laughs> Now it's up to uh, each one of us how would you want to interpret that. So that is how we analyze you see so by this you can know what could be the circumstances when you marry, where could you find your spouse, how could you, uh, what challenges could come up okay or who could help you, who could break your marriage okay. Break I mean the event of wedding or who could post challenges okay so th this is how you uh, see and then later on you can check how much are the other supporting houses contributing to your marriage okay the second lord fifth lord ninth lord and the eleventh lord so if they are contributing many points then the dustanas then you can know that even though there will be challenges in your marriage then but you can still overcome them okay so thank you very much and this is what i wanted to say i hope you like this video and if you liked it then please click the thumbs up and share it with others who is interested to know about ashtak varga and if you want a consultation from me then you can go down to the description section of my videos where you will find the link to my website to book a reading with me and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and yes if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it okay thank you very much and if you have any other requests for any particular topic to be seen using ashtag varga then you can write it down in the comments i will try my best to put it in the next video okay thank you very much